And welcome back. We're trapped at home all this time. We've always said, if I had just a little bit of time, I would do this or I would do that. I would clean this out. It's time to get organized. Are you doing it? I doubt it. The queen of organization, Betsy Miller, is here to save us and get us to do the things we've said we were going to do. Betsy, you're going to talk to us today about small victories. What do you mean by that? You know, hi, Joy, first of all, how are you? Thank Good. you for calling me. Um, uh, small victories, you know, this is no different than what I would say before all this craziness started, which is break it down into manageable pieces. Give yourself a pat on the back for cleaning out the junk drawer or, um, you know, cleaning out, I don't know, the uh, a small part of your closet. You know, I think people overwhelm themselves and they go, I'm going to do all of this in one day. And, you know, that's just not reality. And um, so I think pat yourself on the back, do a junk drawer, do, you know, one cabinet, and then build on that, um, build on them of, okay, I accomplished that. Now I'm going to move on to the next thing. Okay, sounds good. Let's do this little by little here. You sent me some before and afters illustrating exactly what you mean. What about the junk drawer? I mean, it's junky. You got to get all that stuff out. You don't even want to know what's in there. How, what do you, what's your before and after look like? So my before and after looks like take it all out. Just set it all out on the counter. It's a good time to clean the drawer out. If you have any little bins in there, let's run those through the dishwasher or, you know, hot soapy water. And, you know, start slashing and burning, you know? There's probably a lot of stuff in there that, like you said, you haven't seen in a long time that might be able to either go somewhere else, be donated, or thrown in the trash. And then from there, break it down into little, you know, compartments. Put all of your, you know, pens and pencils together, your um, tape measure, anything dog-related, and that way it's easy to see instead of a big, you know, jumbled mess. Okay, a quick tip for the closet. How do you tackle a closet? One thing I noticed about your after closet is the hangers are all uniform. Does that matter that much? You know, it does, um, but we're always very um, aware of people's budget. And so I don't want people to think, oh gosh, I have to go out and invest, you know, $400 on um, hangers. You don't, but it certainly helps. So um, start small. What I usually tell people with that is, Make that your impulse buy when you, well, when we're able to go back to Target or whatever, but um, make that your impulse buy. And so before you know it, you know, you've gone to Target three times in three months. And you've been able to, you know, spend a little money each time and voila, you've changed out all your hangers. Yeah, and you can find things easier if they're all sort of hanging at the same height because those different hangers put things and they hide them from you and it's frustrating. One thing that you yeah. did brilliantly is, I'm gonna call it a utility closet. The ones where you have the brooms and the mops all in the yeah. corner and when you pull one out, they all fall down. How do you go about <laughs> sorting that one out? Um, again, you know, everything organizing is gonna, go down to purging. And so get out of there what you don't need, use, want, yada, yada, yada. And then we love a good slat wall or a good hook system because um, people really miss the boat when it comes to utilizing the wall space for organizing. So um, a lot of times you can get slat wall cut to size at any home um, goods area, like a Lowe's or Home Depot or something like that, Menards. And um, if not, install some hooks. And I love the shoes on the wall. That's another example of using the wall space instead of having them pile up on the floor. Anyway, really good ideas. I want to talk to you on a more regular basis because maybe, just maybe, we'll get out there and actually do some of this. Betsy Miller of To Be Organized, thank you so much. You are more than welcome. Have a great day. See you soon.